All right, guys, before this video starts, I want to make a couple of announcements, and I also want to apologize in advance. The first couple of clips of this video, the camera wasn't in the right mode, so the quality isn't the best, but it's only for like the first like two minutes of the video, so just hang tight while the video quality isn't the best, because after like a second or third clip, it does get better back into the quality that it's supposed to be in. So sorry about that in advance, but just hang tight and the quality will get better. And the second thing, that video was shot like the second or third week of March. Like I think like March 19th, maybe March 20th. And it is now May, May 7th. The thing was, I kind of lost the footage. Like I don't remember where I placed it on my computer and I, I don't know what happened, but I found it. It's edited almost two months later. So that's why my hair in that video was very short still. Like I just got it re recently cut. It's now May 7th and my hair is ridiculously long. No barber shops are opened. Just, yeah. And also if you're gonna watch this video and you might like skip through it or you just kinda wanna see like the basics of how to like take off your door panels or whatnot, whatever. I'm going to be putting down in the description which sides of the car is positive and negative because each door, the, the passenger door, the driver door, the back passenger or the back driver, the colors of the wires are all different. So I guess you can kind of like distinguish which wire goes to where and they're also different on positives and negatives. So I'm going to have a list down in the description of which color is positive, which color is negative for each speaker of the car. I also do state it in the video when I'm doing the speaker, but just in case you miss it, it's gonna be down in the description for you guys. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're gonna to be doing a mod to the Genesis that um is long overdue. Very long overdue. These have been sitting in my basement since last January. They've been sitting in my basement for like 14 months now, and I just never uh, installed them. So what these are, I ordered them off of uh, crutchfield.com, I'll put the link in the description. And they specifically should fit my car because I filtered Genesis Coupe and my gear and all that fun stuff into the system. So these speakers popped up and they are both the same thing. And they said they should both fit the front driver and passenger door and then the back seats as well. So I'm not going to pretend like I know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to read off the box for you guys. I'm also going to throw the numbers up on the screen. This is the uh, three-way speaker up to 270 watts of peak power. And then they are the... XS FB 1630s. I don't know what any of this means, but um, we're gonna get right into this. And also, when you I ordered them for my car, it also came with these brackets. So I'm assuming this should make the install even easier. And yeah, we're gonna get right into this. So now we're gonna be drawing a before clip of what my speakers currently sound like. And these speakers actually are pretty good. I actually ordered those speakers for my old Genesis and those speakers were shot. That was why I ordered those. But when I got my new Genesis, these speakers were actually pretty good. So that's why I never put those in, but I'll, I'm just gonna send it and put them in anyways. So here's what they sound like now. And I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to hear it, but we'll see what we got. So they're decent, like they're not too bad, but I hope those are even better than these. So let's get right into this. All right guys, it's now the following day. Yesterday, I kind of just didn't feel like doing the speakers. So it's now the following day. I already did the driver's side, just so I kind of knew what I was doing. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on here on the passenger side, but this, side, this time I'm gonna be taking you guys with me. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is there's two bolts. I'll, I'll show you guys in the next clip. There's one bolt behind here, and then there's another bolt in here. And then pretty much after those two bolts are out, you just gotta just take off the door panel as a piece because it's all like, it's all popped in, going all around the door. It's gonna be a little annoying to do. You do have to be a little harsh with it because it's, it's not gonna come off easily. So in order to find the bolts, there's a little rubber piece here. You just kinda have to just like wedge it up. See if I can get this for you. Yeah, just just like that. See how the piece just came up? 
So that comes out, and then there's a bolt right down there with the Phillips head screw on it. And then there's another piece right back here, which has to just pop right out the same way. Just like that, and then you got another screw right here. So you want to go ahead and take both of these guys out. And then you have to go all along the door here and just start pulling it out the back. I have a little panel popper over there. You should want to have to go along all along here. There's all pop clips going all along the bottom of the door, all up around here. So once the door panel is off, you want to be careful and not rip it out because there's a little wire still connected to the back of it. But this was the tool that I used. This is my uh, little panel popper tool. Really, really great investment. A little, uh, almost, I can almost call it a pro tip, but I'm that's not cool, going to steal it from Anthony. So once that's out, you got your little um, clips back here. You want to make sure and plug them, unplug them. This side only has two wires you gotta disconnect from it versus the driver's side which had like four or five pieces on the back of it. So you wanna just be careful. For this piece here that does the lock and the door, I'm gonna see if I can leave it on because taking these off is a little bit of a pain. So I'm just gonna see if I can just leave this balanced over here. So this here is the stock basket and then the stock speaker. And then I'm gonna be putting in the new basket which as you can see it's a lot thinner because the speaker, the aftermarket speaker that I got here is a lot bigger. So it's gonna sit like this. <laughs> so it's gonna sit like this, so you need to put in the new basket. You might be able to get away using the stock basket, but I'm gonna be taking it out just because I will supply it with a basket that fits my car. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is unplugging it, of course, right from here and throwing this off to the side because later on we're gonna have to cut this and splice them. So this here is in, held in by rivets. So then the only way to take out a rivet is just to drill it out. And this is a 5 30 seconds drill bit and I'm sure to send these Johns right out of here. So as soon as I drill these rivets out, this speaker and the basket should pop right out without a problem. There's one, add that to the collection. Let's keep going. All four rivets are out. This John should just slide right out, just like that. Here's your stock speaker, the stock basket. Now with the aftermarket speaker, it's no longer a plug like this, or at least mine, is, mine isn't in this case. So I'm gonna have to cut with a pair of dikes right here and splice into the back of the speaker with these molds. But now this we have to pay attention a little bit because on the passenger side of the car or the right side of the car, the yellow wire here is the positive. And the black wire here is the negative. But this is only for the right side of the car, front right. And But the driver's side of the car is these wires here are gonna be white and brown. And on the left side of the car, the brown one is the positive, <clears throat> and the white one is the negative. But just keep in mind, that's only for the front left. And here on the right side, you have black and yellow, where the black is the negative and the white is the positive. So actually, I'm going to be putting the basket on the car first. And I'm going to be using self-tapping screws. I'm not going to be putting rivets in my car again just because that was annoying. So I'm going to put some self-tapping screws in. These are just like 10, 10 by 3 quarter. They're not that big, but they should hold it in. It's literally going into some thin metal with a piece of plastic.
Now that that's in, I'm gonna go ahead and put these wires up through the top here. So once those are passed through there, I'm gonna pop this drum right on here. And for these, I'm also gonna be using self-tapping screws, but these are eight by nine sixteenths. So these guys are a lot smaller, but they should do the job just well. Over there somewhere. Now that the speaker's in, I'm gonna go ahead and continue splicing these drums. Now with all these wires all spiced up and all electrical tape and looking nice, pretty much the door panel goes right back on the same way you took it off. And I'm gonna tell you guys, start from the top because the top of the door panel kind of hooks into up here. So just loop it over the top and then you kind of just want to be, before you start popping it back in, you want to make sure that you that you plug them back in of course. So loop it in the top and then kind of just pop them going along all along the sides and you're pretty much done. Now moving to the back of the car, you're going to have to take out the back seats unfortunately to be able to take off the side paneling. So the first thing you got to do is pull down your seats, keep the bag set up, something light. So over here, you got a bolt right there, 12 millimeters, and then you got the same one on that side. And then that should release the back part of the seats. Now with those two bolts out, this should be able to slide right out, just like that something light and send this John out of here now there's only one bolt holding in the seats to the floor and it's just this one bolt right here in the back this is a 12 millimeter again and then after that bolt comes out these should just pop up like these are a little secured in but if you just tug on them enough it'll pop right right up out from the bottom of the car From the looks of it, the only thing holding this in looks like there's a screw here, a little pop clip, and a little pop clip here. And then besides that, it looks like it just pops out all along the back, so I'm assuming you gotta put a little bit of pressure and just pull on it. Two. I'm gonna sure to go along, all along here now with this little panel popper, just to see if I could pull it off of the car, hopefully. So I found it was the best way to start from right up here, right here, and just kinda just pull down all along the side. Let's see if I can just keep sending this. Okay. Never again do I want to do this. My fingers are stuck, they're bleeding. I snapped it. I'm about to just freaking pull it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Not allowed. Yeah, that's where I snapped it. Guys, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Yeah, that's not pretty bad. Oh well. All right, guys, now that we're in the back of the car, I have everything all removed. I already did this speaker. That's all done. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it on this side. It's, it's pretty much the same exact thing. It's just the, uh, the wires are, did, are different colors. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna unplug this. All right, throw it off to the side. And then you wanna go ahead and take off the stock speaker from the stock basket. Now this should come right out. The only thing holding this thing is right here, which this I'm not reusing, so it doesn't matter. So we're going to be using the stock basket here, and I have my wires plugged into the back of the speaker here. Alright, and now I'm going to run them right behind the basket. Not that big of a deal. And then now that they're sitting back behind the basket, I'm going to go ahead and send these in with some self-tappers. Now that this is in, I'm going to go ahead and get to the wiring part once again. So here on 
the driver's side of the car, also known as the left side of the car. The blue wire is the positive and the red wire is the negative. So when you splice these together, make sure you're doing that the right way. So when you're going ahead and splicing these, make sure you're doing the negative to the red wire and you're doing the positive to the blue wire. But then when you go ahead and do the other side, which I already did, you want to do the green is the positive and the orange is the negative. And that's on the passenger side of the car. This side is now all finished. I have it all spliced together. Didn't really show it because that really wasn't the moral of this video. Don't mix up your positives and your negatives or else it will not work. But now this is all done. I'm going to tuck this right in there. Speakers on. Same with that side. Now I have to put all the panels back on which is not going to be fun. And then once the panels are back on, you want to go ahead and put your seats on the same order that you took them off. Update. Side panels back on. Not easy to get in at all, so you need a lot of patience. I started from the top. I make sure I made sure it was like jointed properly right here. Make sure that's in first, and then you kind of just want to work your way down and go this way with it. But the most important thing is make sure that's in first, and then up here as well, and then just work your way down. Same thing with that side. Takes a lot of patience, guys. Be very patient with it. So once the sides are on and all done, you want to go ahead and put the seats back down, put that bolt back in, and put the side the side guys back on and put them the two bolts on the sides, and you guys should be done with the back. All right, guys. So after editing this video, I realized that I never made an outro or I never finished the video. Like the last clip you guys saw was me talking about my seats are back in and the speakers were all wired up. Now we're gonna try and attempt to show you if the speakers are any better. It's really hard to tell if the speakers are better just by the camera microphone, but you guys just gotta take my opinion for it. And the speakers do sound better. They're not like insanely better, like it's like night and day. I do hear a difference. And also another problem is I gotta play like SoundCloud music, like music that I already use in my videos because I can't get copyrighted. So I gotta try and find a song for you guys. All right, so I kind of found a song. I'm gonna try and play the music and I doubt you guys are gonna be able to hear any type of difference in the video. Unfortunately, just because the mic isn't like 100% like the best to try and find, to try and hear any sound differences, but we'll see what we got here. <laughs> Alright guys, that's the best I can probably do for you guys. You guys just have to take my opinion and it does sound a lot better. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or shoot me a DM or anything like that. I'll make sure to answer you guys back as fast as I could. Once again, sorry for the uh, the bad quality in the very beginning of the video. The camera was in the wrong mode. You guys are just going to have to forgive me there. But that should be it guys. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe. And turn on the post notifications button, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.